the weekend events in Alberta. It's such a fantastic atmosphere. It's so friendly, so open. You're welcomed with open arms. Nobody shy about their disability here. We all, we're all one family. No matter what your disability is, the different variety of shots they can do with one arm in wheelchair. It's just unbelievable. It's great to watch. You wave water at a tournament, not to play against people and beat people, but just to see your friends. You gotta come and have a taste. You love it. You'll be hooked. Facebook about the WDBS um, because I'm profoundly deaf. I thought I should get involved in that because that's a disability. I went on the website, checked it out, gave myself a lot of uh, positive information. It's just a challenge that I love. I love the challenge. Always love the game and I love to play it socially and seriously as well. Oh, I like the competition, the competitive side of it, the, the game, the, ta the, the tactics. I like, I've got a mathematical background, so I like to work out points, how many snookers I need, for how many points I need to win, and working out. I like that side of it as well. That's, I like that nature of the game, isn't it? WDBS wanted somebody to do some sign language, so I said I'd go along. Uh, and then Matt and Nigel, Said, well, you could play in the Group 7 line, partially sighted one, and loved it, and I've been to everyone since. I enjoy, just enjoy it myself. I love learning new things, learning up with the people, I love the coaching. I like all that side of it, yeah. I think the most of it was the coaching for me. It's just so interesting, like ways that I could develop, different techniques that I could use to improve my game. And yeah, I took that all on board. It was really interesting. I was really happy with the coaching. Right. Following this stroke that I had, I lost the use of all of my left sides. I can't use my left hand, left arm, any of my upper limb. I was run over by a car. I hit my head above the windscreen. It turned into double vision. This is in the end what happened. Ended up with one eye, which I've only got a blind spot down there, which doesn't help. I have a left foot amputation. This was taken away when I was four years old. My disability is Charcot Maritouth disease. It affects muscle ridges in my hands and I wear splints on my feet. For the first nine months after the accident, I didn't go out. I just in a lonely place. It was only a couple of friends that got me out and then I saw WDBS. Oh no, please I did. Okay, it affects my game because the referee really, sometimes that can be a problem, a communication barrier and he speaks to me and I have to go over and grab the interpreter which interrupts the game. It's difficult to concentrate on the game. You're more thinking about the pain, but um, if you're playing well, nine times out of ten, you can take that out of your mind. If you're not playing too well, you can use it as an excuse. Negotiated me from my bridge hand a wee bit to allow me my fingers don't get in the road sort of thing. But except for that, everything's fine. I do get sore after a wee while and for long days and that, but it doesn't put me off at all. If any, it makes me more determined to try and do well. I have a problem going up to the white because I can't see the distance where the tip of the cue is. I've designed a small shortened rest that I move around the table when I'm playing, which helps the game. It wasn't something that I just sat down and said, OK, that's it, I give up. This has been another part of my life that's grown and developed, so not having my hand back or my leg back doesn't mean that it's the end of things. Well, about this time last year, um, I entered the Derby for the first time, the Derby tournament, because I'd got a deaf friend that had told me about it and said, come on, come and have a look, come and have a go, see it again. I really enjoyed it. But then I became uh, a tournament director, uh, which was really exciting in itself, so yeah. My own personal development with WDBS is that I've been able to do my class three referee exam and qualify as a EASB referee. I'll go to every event and I thought, well, I might as well be doing something if I'm not playing. I decided to have a go at refereeing. I weren't sure about whether I could do it with my eyes and that, but it's really been enjoyable. 
When the Scottish recommend to her, standard there's incredible. Uh, this season I've had a good couple of tournaments which has enabled me to go to uh, Bulgaria for the European Championships. Just shows if you stick in, practice hard and you'll do well. I say come with an open mind. If you've got a disability, enjoy playing in your local club. Get yourself down, that's what I've done. I've absolutely loved it. The participants are fantastic and they come and speak to you and make you feel warm and welcome. Oh, I'd say come along. You know, it would be great, get involved in the play. It doesn't matter about your ability, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or you're advanced. It's open for anybody and just come and have a go. And you could have special one-to-one -one coaching, which is fantastic and that can improve your game. Please come along, yeah, just give it a go. Oh, please come and have a go. Even just to come and see the way some of them can play with disabilities is unbelievable. There's more players now, more players competing, and that can only be good for the game. I'd say you're more than welcome. It's all for all disabled people, deaf, blind, wheelchairs, and it's a good challenge. You meet new faces, new people, and you're made to feel very welcome. I have missed it on so much, and I've been a walk through the door on Friday afternoon. I was made to feel as welcome as I am.